So this is the classic, classical versus Keynesian uh, view in macroeconomics. Uh, the classical was before 1930s, and basically there was no term macroeconomics used back then because they didn't believe in government intervention. Whereas after the 1930s and Keynes came into the picture, uh, they did believe that government intervention is needed in, a, in an economy. So pretty much the main difference is the short-run aggregate supply in, uh, in the classical, it just goes straight up and down. Whereas in the Keynesian, it's an upward sloping line. And basically what this implies is that in the classical, the aggregate demand, uh, when it shifts to the left, output stays the same or to the right. Whereas in Keynes, if aggregate demand shifts to the left, output decreases. And if it shifts to the right, output increases. Basically what this means is that uh, inflations and recessions do affect your output in an economy. She's just finishing up. Just in case you didn't get a close enough look, there's the classical. There's the Keynesian. As you can see, the output here changes, decreases, and here the output stays the same.